Hello guys, Azona here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about the Act 5 <gasps> Frenzy Merc. I'm sure you guys have the same experience that when you're running with an Act 2 Merc with just low budget gear, like inside, treachery and Tao's helmet. You just keep dying to everything. <laughs> And you go back to town and pay 50k gold over and over again. To me, I always love to play this game with the mercenary, but the game experience is so bad if I always have to stare at the left top of my screen and feed potions to prevent him from dying. So, I personally like the Frenzy Merc a lot, cause he has really good survivability even with just low budget gear. In this video, I'll be focused on the budget setup that can help to keep your Frenzy Merc alive. This is how I figured out what gear are good for him. I let my Frenzy Boy clear the whole Chaos Sanctuary without my help. I just stand there and watch him kill. All I did is teleport and feed potions when needed. I did many runs with different kinds of gear setup and write down how many pots used in the run and how many times he died in the run. After the whole session is finished, I find out 3 setups I like the most. Before we jump into the setups, let's check out the control group. I have this Act 2 Holy Freeze Merc with inside Treachery and Andy's Visage, kind of the setup that many people use before having Infinity. He needs 45 full rejuves and died over 10 times. It's just... It's awful, you know. The most expensive things of the setup is the two lamb runes you need for Lawbringer and Treachery and the pole rune to upgrade the Head Striker. Head Striker has over 100% deadly strike means he deals 2 times damage every time he swings with it. It's actually an excellent budget weapon for the Frenzy Boy. Lawbringer for the Sanctuary Aura and chance to proc Decrepify. Though it's got no ED on this ring world, but with Sanctuary Aura he can shred all undead in the game with no problem. The stun and knockback effect make you and him much more safer when fighting undead. And you're benefited by the Decrepify if you're playing physical builds, cause it lowers the physical resistance by 50%. Treachery, combined with the level 15 fade, this armor provides 60 all res, 15% DR, 45 IAS and reduced curse duration. Tal's helmet for life steal, all res and life. Replace this with Eris face or Andy's visage if you have one. With the setup, my frenzy boy needs average 17 full rejuves to clear the whole chaos sanctuary. You may be not impressed by the result, but please keep in mind the whole job is done by himself. I did not give him any help, just speed potions. Gladiator span for high defense, DR, MDR, and cannot be frozen. Considering this is a low budget gear setup, I did not use an ethereal one. Eris face for plus skills, all res, and life leech. With this setup, he needs average 14 rejuves to clear the whole chaos sanctuary. The set bonus is so good. Plus 1 to all skills, faster run walk, 15% life steal, 27% max life. 30% all res, 16% DR, and you get over 300 ED to demons from the weapon itself. Combined with the Lawbringer, he deals great amount of damage to both demons and undead. With the setup, he needs average 18 full rejuves to clear the whole Chaos Sanctuary. It should not be hard to get these set pieces. Maybe the sword and chest is rare if you are playing SSF offline. But if you are playing online, buying these things should not cost you a lot. The biggest issue of Frenzy Merc is the hit chance. He misses a lot, especially on bosses. I tried to buff him with one hard point in chain and guess what? His survivability was improved instantly. He needs only 2 or 3 potions and sometimes 0 potions per run with the same gear I just mentioned. 
So if you're playing a sword, you can either put one hard point into Inchen or get a plus Inchen weapon on Swamp. When using low budget gear, an Act 5 Frenzy Merc has much better survivability than an Act 2 Merc. If your builds don't need that aura from an Act 2 Merc that much, for example a Foldian running Redemption Aura, or a Hydra Inchen Sorg who's pretty okay without the Meditation Aura, then it's good to have a Frenzy Merc with you. When using high-end gear, both Act 2 and Act 5 Merc can be quite tanky, an Act 2 Merc with Infinity is still indispensable for most elemental builds. Alright, this is it, and thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you find anything useful in my videos, please subscribe, comment, and hit the like button, or maybe consider joining my channel membership. I really appreciate. I'll see you guys in the next video.